How we create rhythm patterns on the BR600 is the same as the Micro BR, and I'm not too certain about the others, but using the Micro BR and the BR600, using the rhythm patterns is quite easy. We have steps and then we have starting bars. I'm going to create a new song and show you how to go through it. Okay, there's our new song created. I'm going to turn the rhythm on. I'm going to press arrange, then choose a song arrangement, then press rhythm edit. We go into enter step and there we've got it. We've got our first step, we've got the starting bar and then the pattern. It also gives you the tempo and your pattern arrangement. Now, I'm going to be working on any song. Let's pick a pop song. So, I like to have at least two bars starting with the metronome to count me in. So I'll have it starting at one, that'll be my first pattern. Okay, it'll be from the first bar, it'll be a metronome at 120 beats per minute. Let's move on to the second one, which will be our intro beat. Now, I said, like I said, I wanted two bars, so I'm going to make that. The next step start at three. Then I'm going to choose a rhythm that I like. Let's pick, I'll pick on the first pop one. Here we've got pop one intro. It should give us our sound. That's the intro. Okay, that is how many bars? Let's check. That's a two bar beat. So then our third step would be the first verse, which after two bars would then be bar five. Let's choose the same verse. We can choose any one of the patterns, but I'll stick with pop one, verse one, which sounds like this. Okay, let's say we want that to run for four bars. That would mean our fourth step would be four bars on at nine. But I want a full there, so let's make it run for three and have a full as the next step, which will start automatically at the next one at nine. We'll take the first full. Just one bar. Then our next step at bar 10 would be V2, which is generally a chorus. Okay. Let's say we want the chorus to run again for three bars and let's have a full. So we've got three bars and we're going to use the next full. The full lasts one bar. be that one bar and then we can go back to the verse or we can go to the end. By the way you see it keeps carrying on you just keep adding them on. I've got a sheet on my blog for you to download that will help you plan these I will show you that now but once we finish with our rhythm we put exit exit and it will save. Now we can listen to the whole thing in the song. There's our metronome, two bars, our intro There's our standard beat. Here comes the full. We have the second beat. And here's the end. Okay, there we go. Easy enough to record a rhythm. I've created this sheet to help you plan your songs. It really helps me. You put the song title name, whatever you're going to call it. You can record, the, write the tempo down there. You can, I've let it so that you can write down what is in each track. So it can be electric guitar, lead guitar, vocals, whatever you wish. Then I've got your rhythm arrangement here. So step one, starting bar 001, you can write metronome. If you're changing the tempo, it allows you to do that there. I've included 30 steps because I don't generally go longer than that. Um, but as you're going, you can, it'll help you to record so you know when your fill will be you know when your changes are going to be in your song. This is available for download on my blog.